New tonight, more than a month into the trial of the Connecticut woman accused of helping cover up the murder of her lover's wife. Now a memory expert takes a stand for the defense. She previously has worked for attorneys for O.J. Simpson and Harvey Weinstein. CBS 2's Tony Aiello with the latest on the Michelle Traconis trial from Stanford. People with a lot of life stress are not going to be, their memory is not going to be operating optim optimally. She's considered a foremost expert in the science of memory. Dr. Elizabeth Loftus called to the stand to testify for Michelle Traconis. Traconis changed her story repeatedly over a series of interviews with Connecticut State Police as they investigated Fotis Dulos for the murder of his estranged wife, Jennifer. This entire case seems to be about whether or not uh, Ms. Traconis said things at different times that contradicted things at another time. One of the common reasons why we make mistakes is because people feed us misinformation or they tell us things that aren't true or they tell us things that are highly suggestive or biased. It is not clear how that would explain Traconis falsely telling police she was with Fotis Dulos at his mansion in Farmington the morning Jennifer disappeared. Fotis Dulos is with her shower with me. In 2020, Loftus testified on behalf of disgraced Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein at his rape trial. You also worked on Bill Cosby's case, correct? Yes. It was kind of an unfair thing to try to link the current accused, Michelle, with these people who are unpopular. Prosecutor Sean McGinnis tripped up the memory expert, asking about the subtitle of her 1991 book, Witness for the Defense. You don't remember the details about the title of a book you wrote? I don't remember exactly the subtitle. Loftus did agree that one possible reason for inconsistencies in a police interview is that people do sometimes lie. The trial continues Friday. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.